Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Thursday. Welcome to part two of my iMovie tutorial. If you missed part one, I'll post it right up here and we can just get going. What I'll talk about here in part two are the following. We will talk about how to split and trim your video clips, how to reduce audio noise, how to adjust your audio volume, and I'll even show you how to do a voiceover. And that will be today's. Before we get into the video, please everybody like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Greatly appreciate it on my channel. It'll help me a lot and help me to create more content for you all. So, like I said, we'll get right into it on my Mac. And I purposely, or maybe not purposefully, kind of fumbled over some words because I'm going to edit this video today for you live. How does that sound? Sound good? All right, let's go do it. As I said earlier, what we're going to go over in part two will be how to split and trim your video clips, how to reduce your audio noise, and how to adjust the audio volume, and also how to, how to record a voiceover. I'll open iMovie, and I'll create a new movie. Now I'll import all my media, like I showed you how to do in my first video. Let's get all of this. It is in here. Okay. Here are my videos. I just have to remember which one is my intro. It is the one minute version. We'll put that here. And we'll put this video over here. Now what I wanna do is go through my video and split my clips because I know I screwed up in some parts. Like in the first video, I'll always set my fader in the beginning and the outro. And let's see what happens. I'll just lower this. <clears throat> so this is the beginning. I'm obviously not going to use any of this. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey everyone. Happy Thursday. <clears throat> hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Thursday. Welcome to part two of my iMovie tutorial. So I think that's where I want to keep it, right here. Everyone, happy Thursday. Not here, but right there. So I will extend my timeline. Hey, what's going on? And it looks like this is where I want to pick off from. So I obviously want to split this clip and delete everything here. So what I do is I'll let it play. I'll hit the space bar once I hear myself talk and then I'll hit the back key a little bit. I go to modify and then if I hit split, it'll split it into two clips. But if I hit trim to playhead, it'll split it and delete the portion that I don't want before. So I'll hit trim to playhead. Now my new start is right here. Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Thursday, welcome to part two. And I definitely messed up more, so I'll have to split more one, clips. I'll post it right up there. No. Just get, if you missed part one, I'll post it right up here and we can just get going. And that's the one that I like. So I'll go back. In part two of my iMovie tutorial. Mm -hmm. So I don't want this. So again, pause it, hit the back button go back a few frames. And then this time I do want to split the clip. I want to split it here because I want to use this portion. So again, stop it. Use the back button to go back, modify, split clip, delete. Click on the portion you don't want, hit the delete button. And now it should be a good clip. If you miss part one, I'll post it right up here and we can just get going. So part two, be and I messed up there. And we can just get going. What I'll talk about messed up again. What I'll talk about here in part two of the following. So I like this. So I have to go back. I don't like this. Just get going. I'll modify it. I'll split it. And I believe I want a part over here. And we can just get going. What I'll talk about and we can just get going. What I'll talk about here in part two of the following. So I like this. Play it, stop, and go back. So about right before the audio starts, hit modify, split clip, click the part I don't want, hit delete. So I recorded a section at the end that I want to be in the middle, and I wanted it to be about right here. So, like I said, we'll get right into it. So I want to split the clip here. Again, modify, split clip. Now I'll make my timeline smaller because this clip here, I want to put here because I recorded it out of order. 
So all I have to do is click it till it's highlighted yellow and just drag it between the two. And now this is what I wanted it to sound like. I want to split here, modify, split clip. I do not want this. Sometimes you have to be careful because there will be some pops. So now I'll just split it here and delete this portion. And that will be today's. Before we get into the video, please everybody like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will modify again, split the clip again. And now I have the piece that I forgot to record where I wanted it in my timeline. And right here, I had another big gap of pause that I want to make it sound natural. So I'll play this out. Hit the space bar to stop it after I talk. Modify, split clip, play. Hit the space bar to pause as soon as I hear audio. Back up a few spots. Modify, split clip, delete. And now. Today for the app. How does that sound? Sound good? All right. And modify again, split the end. And now my intro portion is pretty much done. I've split it everywhere I want. I just need to add some effects, which I'll go into on another video. That is how to split and trim your clips. Now I'll show you how to reduce the audio noise. I don't have a soundproof um, apartment. I don't have a soundproof booth. So there'll be some background noise in there. And it's pretty simple to get rid of some of it. What I wanna do is I'll go ahead and highlight all of my audio. And now I wanna go up here to noise reduction and equalizer. Just click on this and now reduce the background noise. I always keep it at 50%, that usually does the trick. So I just click this, and now it will reduce some of the background noise. And you can play with that setting when you're in here yourself. It's as easy as that. As you can see, it applied that setting to all of my clips, and that's how I want it, easy as pie. After you reduce the audio noise in your clip, then you probably wanna adjust the audio volume. And it's kinda hard in iMovie because you can't see the decibel level, all you can really see is the clipping levels. So when you see your waveforms, I usually like to raise the volume a little bit until I see it turn yellow on the tip and then just bring it down. So you can see here, and uh, it's hard to zoom in, but right around here in the audio, it's yellow. But for me, if I want to adjust the audio, I just go to this setting. This is the volume. And here you could click auto, it'll automatically adjust the volume on all of your clips. I don't like to use that. I just like to use the volume slider here. So it's always set to 100. You could bring it down and you'll see the bar and the wavelengths go down, or you could bring it up. So I bring it up until I see a few hit the red and yellow. You could definitely see it down there. There's a lot in the red and yellow. And then I slowly bring it down again until there's very few still there. And there's one, I believe, right here that's just in the yellow. And that is fine for me. And that's a simple way to raise or lower the volume on your track. The last part for this video, which I'm actually doing right now, is how to record a voiceover. I'm recording in QuickTime. It's a little bit different. If I wanted to record in iMovie, first you have to have your microphone connected, whether you're using your computer mic or you know a USB microphone or what have you. Once you have your microphone connected, all you have to do is hit the microphone button and that's record voiceover and that'll bring up the record button. And it's as easy as that. If I wanted to start recording over this particular clip, I would just have the bar at the start of this clip's playhead. So now I know at eight seconds right here, that's where I want my audio to begin. And then I will click the record button. When I click the record button, it will count down from three to one and it'll pick up right where I want it. So I'm not gonna record, but I'll just hit this so you can see. Three, two, one, and then it'll start recording right there. And then when you're done, you just hit that. And then here's all of my recorded audio. And that's pretty much it for that feature. So that's how you split your clip. That's how you trim your clip. It's how you reduce the audio noise and that's how you adjust your audio volume and that's the simple way to record a voiceover. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Again, please like and subscribe my video.
And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next one, which will be episode three, well, part three, and that'll be next Tuesday. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.